Hello everyone and welcome, Dr. Nathan Bryan here with some more nitric oxide updates. You know, exercise performance, I think, and really the athletes, well-trained athletes, put nitric oxide on the map uh, more than 20 years ago when it was recognized that you can improve your athletic performance by enhancing your nitric oxide production. In fact, now the scientific published literature tells us that your ability to produce nitric oxide predicts your exercise capacity. So if you want to be a good athlete and perform at the top of your game, then you have to improve uh, nitric oxide production. And how do we do that? Well, there's two ways the body makes nitric oxide. One is the enzyme in the lining of the blood vessels called nitric oxide synthase. We stimulate and activate that enzyme through uh, moderate physical exercise. We can do it through diet. You know, that's what made beetroot juice extremely popular really in the 2012 Olympic Games in London when it was recognized that most athletes were drinking a lot of beetroot juice. Now fast forward 10 years and we know that beetroot juice really isn't effective at nitric oxide production because there's so much variability in the nitrate content. In fact, most, I would say 95% of the beetroot products out there don't have any nitrate in them or nitrite or sufficient nitrogen oxides to lead to any appreciable nitric oxide production. So don't be fooled by these companies and really, there's better ways to do this. We know scientifically, biochemically, and physiologically how the body makes nitric oxide. And now we can, we can feed and uh, basically supplement those production pathways. So what does this mean? When you improve performance, it means you have an increase in circulation, oxygen, and nutrient delivery of those working skeletal muscles. It improves the efficiency of ATP production by the mitochondria. So you can actually generate more energy with less oxygen. The other important thing about nitric oxide and exercise performance is it induces mitochondrial biogenesis. So when we improve nitric oxide production, we have more mitochondria generating more cellular energy more efficiently with less oxygen. And folks, that is what performance is, whether it's athletic performance, cognitive performance, sexual performance, every aspect we know about and can quantify about performance is dependent upon nitric oxide production. Intermittent fasting, caloric restriction, sirtuins, all of those activate PGC1-alpha and mitochondrial biogenesis through a nitric oxide-dependent pathway. So if your body can't make nitric oxide, you don't get the benefits of these kind of biohacking modalities. So how do we do that? Stop using mouthwash that kills the bacteria that reduce nitrate to nitrite. Um, moderate physical exercise, go to altitude. In fact, the mechanism of high-altitude training is an improvement in nitric oxide production. So it's not just about an increase in hematocrit, it's about improved mitochondrial function through increased nitric oxide performance or production. So if you want to increase your performance, whether you're a well-trained athlete, weekend warrior, or just want to improve your sexual or cognitive function, then you cannot do that without restoring nitric oxide. And now there's very simple and well-validated, scientifically proven uh, steps to improve your nitric oxide production. And that's my hope through these series of short videos to educate you and inform you on the best ways to produce nitric oxide so you can be your best.